Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Um, I haven't forgotten about you all. Um, I hope you guys haven't forgotten about me, and hopefully I can still bring something, um, you know, productive or interesting to your day um, on my YouTube channel. Um, I've been kind of grinding. I've just been grinding every day and, uh, you know, trying to help my students and trying to work on a business. It's been a killer today. I'm on the phone for over eight hours uh, with Amazon. Just having problems with like measurements and problems with getting ungated and problems with it's just the list goes on and on. I've never had to call so many times in recent memory. Um, but if you're gonna run the business, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm trying to get reimbursed. I did a video before about the measurement being wrong. Well, it turns out you can get reimbursed within 90 days. So I've submitted three separate times for reimbursement. And I still haven't gotten reimbursed. And they say it's done automatically. What's well, bullshit? Because <laughs> I literally went through manually for hours and just got every single order ID and sent them in a spreadsheet just to be like, look, like, what the hell are you guys doing? This is the spreadsheet. One of the reps told me to do that. And I talked to the person after that. They're like, no, you don't have to do that. Like, nobody, nobody knows. Like, seller support's so horrible. Because most of them are overseas. They're either, one, they don't give two craps. Two, they're not trained properly or don't have the resources. And it's not necessarily their fault. But also, you get a lot of rude reps, too. And then you get rude back, and it just turns into a shit show, really. Um, you know, but there's one thing I can say, like, and I think I might have said this in a video. Like, I've made a video, and I, I'm just, it's too late to upload it. I'm going to do three videos a week, but... Uh, you know, like, at any rate, sellers support could treat us all a little better. They could do a much better job. We wouldn't have to have repeat phone calls, repeat cases opened. They're wasting money by being such a bad service. Now, every once in a while, you get somebody who's really good. If I get somebody in the United States, and usually that's the case. Usually they're really good. They're really well trained. They know what they're doing. But a lot of times, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting people in the U.S. They're hard to understand. They're not trained well or they don't give a crap. And they just they, they don't understand what your issue is. You try to explain yourself multiple times, and then you think they got it, and then you go to get your case. You look at your case after you hang up, and you found that they put in the complete like incorrect information, and your head just wants to explode because that's how much time you spend doing this over and over again. So I mean, I think it would benefit. It would behoove Amazon so much to get uh, a quality team in place for the sellers. Um, I understand it's a great opportunity to sell on Amazon. I understand it's the biggest market. I get that. I'm not complaining about that part of it, but they're causing themselves to lose money because people are calling back constantly to get one issue resolved. They're constantly sending back, excuse me, constantly sending back their, you know, cases because they're not doing it right. Um, so, so they're wasting, they might be saving money by going overseas, but they're wasting money because if it takes me five or six or seven phone calls or, cause I'll do that until it gets corrected. Or if it takes five or six or seven cases, how many resources are you putting on that issue that you could have had one good rep solve the first time I called and you wouldn't have a problem. That's what they don't understand about customer service that I do cause I'm a professional at it and I've did it for years and I train people how to do it. But anyway. Enough bitching, right? Got most of my stock back in finally. Thank God for that. Um, so I'm selling. I'm trying to push on all those keywords. Um, and I talk a little bit about some other video, my split testing and stuff like that. I haven't done it yet, but that's something I'm really going to get into. Split testing on, on photos. and It's a huge thing, you know. Um, but you know, all my photos were done, 1,800. Um, you know, sales, I'm pushing. I think I'm at like 40 some today just trying to get back to those keywords that you know are easier to rank for that i used to be ranked a whole entire page if you look if you used to look and it was because mainly because the people were sold out but if you look on there you know i was on a whole i have probably 50 search terms for number one page which was amazing no wonder i was making so many sales making 100 some sales a day on one item but now you know, I'm pushing to make 20, 30, 40 sales a day, but it's normal because I'm not ranked on those keywords anymore. So I'm pushing for that. So I believe in, I'm putting in two, three hundred dollars a day. I don't even care to get re ranked on those keywords. And then once I'm organically ranked, 
won't have to worry about it as much. It gets some Amazon badges. It looks better. It helps with sales. So I'm pushing hard for to get re-ranked on a lot of those keywords. Cerebro for Helium is awesome. Same thing as Jungle Scout's Keyword Scout, but I like the way Cerebro just laid out. It's, it's spectacular. I can't say enough good things about that. So I've really been working on that. Um, you know, coaching you guys doing a bang-up job, and uh, we'll keep that going. I think there's going to be a lot of successful people, and uh, I'm committed to do three videos a week. I will be bringing the – please bring me some ideas because I feel like I'm doing stuff that I've already done, and maybe you guys haven't seen them. But I don't want to repeat myself, but I'm going to just start repeating stuff. I don't even care. Because sometimes I just feel like there's nothing to talk about. But there's so many things to talk about. It's like you get in a rut. And I've just been in a rut lately. So that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of videos from me. Plus, I've been extremely busy just getting the stuff that I need to get done. I'm trying to find ways to finance the business. I have a meeting tomorrow about a loan. So hopefully that will go well. Um, still need more funding because I'm trying to launch new products, right? So... At any rate, guys, uh, please hit me up if you have questions about something specifically you want me to talk about. Um, I'd be happy to make a video about that. If I haven't already answered it in a video or two before that. Um, yeah, I just like I said, I've been in kind of a rut. So I'm going to commit to making three videos. I don't even care if I just do product research on every single video I pull up. But, you know, that'll be the theme then. I'll do a product research on every video until we come up with something different. There's so much moving, so many moving parts on Amazon right now. It's everything's moving so fast. A cool thing was, if you guys didn't know, you can now put videos on your listing. You don't have to be brand registered. That'll be big. I am in the process of wanting to do that. I just I have to find hire a studio to do that, uh, to do these videos, um, to make them look good, right? But I haven't gotten there yet. It's just more money, right? So big thing. Check out videos. That's been a big development in Amazon Plus. Um, if you haven't already, you can register your business with a virtual business address. If you're worried about your business address being, your home address being on the Amazon account, I personally don't really think it's going to affect me that much. So I don't think I'm going to change anything, but I might get a virtual business one. I've heard Ink Files good. Um, I looked at them today. Uh, but they're, I think I think I heard they're 30 bucks a month. I actually talked to Paul about that. He said I think they're 30 bucks a month. It's a little pricey, I think. I've seen some for six or seven bucks a month. I just don't know how good they are. If anybody has any recommendations, please bring them to me. Um, I'm going to be checking that out. That will be a cool thing to do a video about. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys are all well. Um, hit me up on fbacommute at gmail.com or Patreon. I have room for maybe one more student if you are interested. But, uh, yeah, I've been putting a lot of work into um, everybody who's been asking. Some people don't ask as much, and that's fine, too. I'm available on, on Skype if you guys need help. So much love to everybody. Have a great night. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.